In A Sam County Almanac, what Aldo Leopold is writing about has a lot to do with the way he perceives the value of his farm. And one of the earliest passages talks about the dangers of being removed from these places. If you become too distant, you run the risk of supposing that your breakfast that you need just comes from the grocery. When the truth is, that food originates on some farm somewhere. So we are Mammoth Valley, and my name is Gina. We are a family farm. We enjoy working together. We have been farming for at least six generations. As far back as we know, we have all been farmers. Our goal is creating healthful and delicious food that can nourish our bodies and also brings back nourishment to the land. We want to do everything in a sustainable way. My grandparents grew up on a farm adjacent to this one, just in the valley over here where Jesse James is. My grandfather started acquiring land, and, and this is some of the land that he first acquired. Uh, purchased it in 1916. Uh, the farm, was, farming was probably more subsistence at, at that point in time. I mean, like they would, their garden would be several acres. He has this place that he can retreat to, and he sees that it's just intrinsically meaningful to him and his lifestyle. That's a huge thing that makes the farming, homesteading, appealing. This is just a lifestyle that keeps you active, helps to give you longevity by keeping you fit, keeping you working, keeping you busy. When my father bought the farm, he actually moved over here in 1948. As he got more stuff invested in the farm, he purchased it from my grandfather. And that was in about 1952. He basically worked more with work stock, so he went to mules and so forth. About the same time, he bought his first tractor, bought his first truck, got into dairy cattle early on, uh, and primarily ran dairy cattle. Stop. You're gonna pinch the Yeah, stop. I really just developed this passion for it. My dad has done it his whole life, just like his father before him and his father before him. And it's been such a blessing to get to learn from him and see how he's done everything and how he's seen things change and grow and the adjustments that he's made. He's closing that gate now to basically close off these four and then he will go in with the gator and get behind him and move him from this pen through the middle up into the barn. Right now it looks like he's looking to see if the two that we just fed have eaten. I purchased the farm after my parents passed away from, uh, from my sisters. I, I switched over to beef cattle uh, and we're still doing beef cattle. Uh, after I retired, uh, I started doing my own hay and we increased the number of beef cattle. There's a lot to be said about sustainability in farming. Keeping yourself warm in the wintertime, fed, and then sharing the surplus, providing for, for people. And a lot of farms, a hundred years ago, only produced enough to feed a, commu a small community, but now they're enormous operations that can supply really huge populations. Sourced from the same location, the same farm, the same breed of cattle, the same genetic pool. One thing that Dad's told me that really stuck out to me is his dad was getting older, telling him that he tried to make it better than his father had left it for him. And so Dad said that that was his goal in turn, was to try and make the barns nicer and get new fencing and to clean up the land and make it not only sustainable but improved and better and I think that is such an admirable goal and that's what we want to keep moving towards as well. The complexion of the whole complexion of the farm has changed considerably. My, 
I, I said my grandfather would have had maybe five acres of garden. Today we have probably an acre or less. I hope what I see in my lifetime is a move towards um, that smaller scale individualized production where we avoid the danger of supposing that food just comes from the grocery store by planting ourselves a garden. That's step one and making sure that we always remember it takes effort, it takes intention to, to get by, to, to eat, to live. You know, it's just it's the way of life. It's the way I grew up. It's what I enjoy. It's what I love. Um, and you know, the, not made a lot of money farming. And I'm not sitting not sitting on top of somebody else. Uh, been able to raise a family here, and you know they've enjoyed it. And I just um, I just can't imagine being anywhere else.